is the T18 Artemis torch from Brianite. Just to be clear, I was sent this torch for free by Brianite. All I want in return was an honest review and some thoughts. So, here they are. This is the whole pack that I received. So obviously the torch at the front here. We've got a red pill, an infrared pill, green, and I also asked for an ultraviolet to try as well. This is the remote control. Now this is already paired to the torch. You don't need to pair it up. It allows you to switch your torch on and off and adjust the brightness up and down. This works by switching the torch on, leaving it in the on position, and it instantly starts controlling it from here. There's a figure of eight clamp provides as well, if you want to make the torch weapon mountable. A spare set of seals. Now I've left this in because this actually sits in the back of the torch when you receive it to separate the battery compartment. So just be aware that's in there. There's a hand strap for the torch, I've taken that off. Instructions and your leads, your power leads. Very, very simple to use. Very, very easy to swap out to the different pills. Now, I think they come with red, green, and blue, or red, green, and white. I asked for the ultraviolet to do some additional tests, and I asked for the infrared because I was looking to use it weapon mountable for ratting. So, we'll have a look at some writing footage and see what you think. Let's see how it performs the distance. Keep an eye on the bottom right hand corner, that's the distance to the target, calculated by the range finder on the air rifle. This is the trees without the illuminator and with. I really am impressed with this torch actually. It throws out a lot of infrared, so what I'm going to do for the next minute or so, I'm just going to ping a few objects and buildings around the farmyard. Remember to keep an eye in the bottom right hand corner and that'll tell you how far away it is and you can see for yourself the quality of the torch. As I was arranging this target you can see Charlie Fox in the bottom of the screen there so you can see for yourself target identification is made so easy with the power of this torch. Remember, the bottom right shows the distance to the target and that's calculated from the rangefinder on the air rifle. So you can see the sort of distances that this thing is reaching. And you can see the trees there are quite white, so that shows a lot of infrared getting thrown over them. Now those trees there are lit from the underneath, so don't be fooled, that's not all the infrared. There is a white light underneath those. This is the UV pill. And if you watch here, you can see Mr. Rat glows quite nicely in the ultraviolet. He doesn't like it, and he's very quick to bolt off. But the ultraviolet's nice because you can sometimes see rat urine left behind. So it is quite a useful pill to have. The range on this thing is astounding. I reckon you're going to have very clear vision out to about 100 yards, no prop at all. I think it's probably going to something like 150, 200 yards with a good solid beam. Very, very bright indeed which is really impressive for a torch. It's only 160 millimeters in length. The lens is 55 millimeters. The housing is 25 millimeters wide, so that's perfect for any scope rings if you want to mount it on a weapon. With the battery, it weighs in at a mere 268 grams. The runtime, hard to say, because I was using it for two and a half hours on and off on the infrared pill. But then when I finished and I packed up for the evening here, I put the white pill in and left it running constantly for an hour after the hour, I gave up and went to bed. It was still burning solid bright white light, so it does have a very, very long and reliable run time. Charge time is probably two to three hours, I would guess. Now the barn I'm illuminating here is about 40 yards away, and you can see the quality of the beam and the clarity of the light. Let's have one final look at the specs. 
please check the description. There's more information in there and there's also links to Brianite. Thanks for watching.